I'm Michelle Phillips, a Google for Education certified trainer, and this video is going to show you the Google Chrome skills needed to do well on the Level 1 and Level 2 Google Educator exams. On Level 1, we're going to look at how to sign into Chrome, how to manage your bookmarks, use incognito mode, the Chrome Web Store, and how to install apps and extensions. Signing into Google Drive and signing into Google Chrome are not the same thing. You'll see here that I have my picture, which means that I am logged into Google Drive. In the very, very top right of your browser, you can see that it has my name, ML Phillips. That's because I'm also signed into Chrome. When you sign into Chrome, your bookmarks then appear and all of your extensions. I'm using a Mac, but both PC and Macs will have the login in the top right corner. Bookmarking is a great way to keep your sites organized. I have a lot in my bookmarks bar. So I bookmark sites that I use often. The easy way to bookmark a site is to simply click on the star and then you decide where you want to put that bookmark. You can put bookmarks in folders or just have them on the bookmarks bar. When you fill up your bookmarks bar, the arrows on the end will show you the rest of the sites that didn't fit on the bookmarks bar. Another great way to organize and save space is to take the title off so that you just see the symbol of many of my sites that I know or they are Prosper ISD, Discovery Education. If I hover over them, they tell me what they are, but I also recognize those symbols. A site that I use often and always need to have access to is my Google Calendar. So I want to bookmark it so that it stays in my bookmarks bar. So what I'm going to do is at the top, when I'm in my calendar, I'm going to click on the star and it will have Prosper IC calendar and it will go in the bookmarks bar. I could select any of the folders that I wanted to, but I want it in my bookmarks bar, so I'm going to click done. Now it doesn't fit here, so when I click done here, you can see that it's right here. But I want it closer and where I can see it all the time. If I right click on it and click edit, I, since I know the calendar icon, I can delete the title and click Save. Now it's right here, but I'm going to drag it into my bookmarks bar where I want it placed. You can also manage your bookmarks by going to the More Actions, the three dots in the top corner, go to Bookmarks, go to Bookmark Manager, and then you can organize them here as well. And you can also search in case you can't find what you need. The place where you put your URLs is called the Omnibox. That's because you can put URLs, but you can also put search terms. You can get to incognito mode by selecting Shift Command N or Shift Control N. This opens a page that will not be put in your browser's history. You can read what it says about it right here, what it can and can't do, and then you can even learn more. To get to the Chrome Web Store, you can search for it. It can also be found listed with your Chrome apps, and it'll be the very first one. The Chrome Store is where you search for extension themes or apps. Let's look for goo.gl. It's one of my favorites. So you can see that I already have it added to Chrome, but if I find something that's not added to Chrome, I can just click here and then it will show up in my extensions list. So for level one, we've looked at how to sign into Chrome, how to manage your bookmarks, use incognito mode, we've looked at the Chrome Web Store, and how to install apps and extensions. For level two, we're gonna look at how to manage your apps and extensions, how to manage goo.gl links, we're going to look at the advanced search options. We're also going to take a look at a great tool called Google a Day. To manage your extensions, you're going to go to the More Actions, three dots at the top right, and then go to Settings, and then you'll see your extensions. You'll also see any permissions, options, and details of each extension. Some you may have enabled and be using, and some you may not need right now, and you can disable it. If you see a trash can, you can actually delete the extension, but if you see the building icon, that means your organization has pushed that extension, and you can't delete it, but you can disable it if you click on the check mark. To manage your Chrome apps, you'll go and go through them, find the one you want to look at, and then you right-click on it, and you can decide how you want to open it, or you can remove it altogether.
If you're on a site and you want to shorten the link, especially when you're in Google Drive and your share links are very long, you can use the goo.gl extension. When you click on it, it will give you a shortened link and you can also make a QR code out of it. However, the goo.gl extension does not save these. If you want to save your shortened URLs, you will go to goo.gl. This keeps track of the original URLs, the shortened URLs, and it also will give you information such as analytics on how many times it's been clicked on or how many times it's been visited, and you can still get QR codes here as well. To find the advanced search options, you can just search advanced search. And then you can choose what you want to search, but then narrow your results by different options. For example, file type, or you can look at usage rates. Another great tool by Google is Google a day. Many of us just copy and paste questions or type questions into the Omnibox to find answers. Well, Google has made questions that you cannot do that with to find the right answer. This is a great way for students to learn how to search and to practice their search techniques. So in level two, we've looked how to manage your apps and extensions, your goo.gl links. We've looked at the advanced search options, and we've also looked at Google a day. These are the Chrome skills needed to do well on the Google Educator exams.